Hello Marathon High School Falcons, it's Mr. Wilson with this week's Marathon High School Principal Update from downtown Toronto. Um, pretty awesome that we are only two weeks away from the May long weekend, but in the meantime there's lots of stuff that we need to take care of. Number one, um, midterm report cards just went out in the mail this past Friday, May the 5th. So really good opportunity to go over report card marks and progress uh, families and students together and certainly to reach out to teachers if you have any questions about why marks are the way they are. Um, you know that we have lots of people here to support and help you if you're encountering any challenges with your classes but uh, make sure to take time to look at your report cards and uh, get an idea of what's going on. Okay so now I'm at uh, the Mackinac Bridge behind me. I'm at the Straits of Mackinac in Michigan and to continue the video off uh, for this week's principal update, um, I wanna give a huge thanks to our mental health team for recognizing Mental Health Week in addition to Education Week last week. We had an excellent Lunch and Learn barbecue on Friday, and I especially wanna thank Miss Amanda Secord, our child and youth worker, for all of the planning and coordination that went into Friday's event. Um, also want to thank everyone who took time to recognize Staff Appreciation Day as well as the events from Education Week last week at the high school. So again, lots going on this week, but uh, important to acknowledge the important events that took place last week with this incredible site behind me. So what else do I want to talk about this week? Um, how about option sheets? So thank you to um, the many students who completed the uh, option sheets forms. Um, and thanks to Miss Bernard for helping students and families navigate some questions around option sheets. Um, we have a lot of information that's going to help me make some decisions about electives to run for next year. Again, the option sheet, uh, sheets process doesn't guarantee that you'll get the classes that you want, but it, uh, it certainly helps. Um, if you didn't have a chance to talk to Miss Bernard yet, or you didn't have a chance to complete the option sheet form, reach out in the next couple of days and uh, we'd still want your information and we will do our best to um, get you what you want course-wise once the uh, timetable for next year is created. But uh, yeah, I'm going to start building that and in the next couple of weeks, we will start putting tentative timetables for next year uh, together for our Falcons. Um, oh yeah, and now I'm at Old Woman Bay on Lake Superior. I'm moving around like crazy today. So the last thing that I uh, want to give an update to for this week is the best wishes to Kayla Lake, who is heading to OFSA for OFSA Badminton. Super proud of Kayo. Um, what a season. Uh, Kayo and his family have celebrated two provincial athletes with Ollie going um, to Offsa Volleyball and now Ko going for Offsa Badminton. So congratulations Ko! thanks to coaches and volunteers for making this trip possible and uh, have fun. Um, I also want to give a shout out to Mr. Osborne who with Miss Cooper took uh, some of the outdoor education students to the mouth of the Steel River this past weekend and uh, awesome trip great to get out into the bush and do a little bit of camping and then last but not least a shout out to Mr. Keech who is taking students to the Thunder Bay Art Gallery this week where some of our Falcons are in the uh, student exhibition so really really excited to share some pictures and some key moments of our Falcons artists and congratulations to all of those students who submitted pieces and especially to those students who have been exhibited at the Thunder Bay Art Gallery. Anyway, uh, it's been a long day of traveling so from White River and with Winnie the Pooh in the background we're gonna say have a great week Falcons, enjoy this spring weather, be safe and take care of each other. Cheers!